Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the U.S. tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, November 18, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you can go over to Patreon. The link is down below. We have a new service, which is basically an online training service and a courses on Fridays and Mondays. And you will also get access to our signal service and full technical analysis if you join that package. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And the market today was basically all over the place. We, we, uh, we broke down quite significantly, around 1%, and then we rallied again. And now we're at 0 point, minus 0 0.4%. Um, I don't really see how this market goes higher from here without having a pullback and quite a substantial pullback to be fair honest. Not a complete breakdown like this, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average around 3,500. That would also coincide to, with these previous highs. Um, and the reason why I say that is basically the RSI. We're at 81 at this point. It is fairly difficult for this market to rally to substantially higher levels with that um, that big of a uh, big of a number. So what I expect here is that we pull back at least towards the 20 exponential moving average around 3,500, and then we rallied from there. That will basically get this RSI lower to around 60, or uh, or around uh, around 60, and then we'll go higher. There are indications that that is going to happen. We had the CCI, which is basically flat. We had the stochastic crossing the signal line, and we are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band. So these three indicators are showing signs of exhaustion here, and this is just completely overbought. MACD is not showing sign of exhaustion. It is turning a little bit, but we're really far away from the signal line. We need to cross the signal line in order to, to uh, have an indication that we are going to go significantly lower. So, but that is what I expect. I do expect a pullback towards the 3,500 area in order to go higher from here. A break below that opens the door to 3,400. So look at the Dow Jones. It's very similar here um, to, you know, compared to the S&P 500. We have rallied significantly all the way up here. This is a move of 12.5%. So... 12.5% in three weeks is, is fairly ridiculous for the, SMP, uh, for, the, uh, for the Dow Jones, also for the S&P 100. Usually they average around 8 to 9% a year. So 12%, 12.5% in, in three weeks, that's, that, is, uh, that is a massive move for both the Dow Jones and the S&P 400. But if you look at the technical indicators, they are very similar to the, to the, to the S&P 400. We are significantly overbought, 84%. In the RSI, that should be screaming in the face of everybody that this is not an area where you basically buy. This is an area where you could sell. And I think we're going also down towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is at 28,600 before we turn around and go higher. That would get the RSI to around, around 16, 65 or something like that. And that would have the necessary momentum in order to go and break these highs. And we go to 30,000 and beyond that. MACD is still above the signal line. Otherwise, the other indicators are showing signs of weakness and that we are about to turn around in this market. So look at the NASDAQ. Sorry. We can see that we are not as bullish as <laughs> in the other indices, but but the other indices did not have this. They did not have this rally of nearly 272% uh, in what? What is this? In like four months. Um, so the NASDAQ was far, far more bullish than the other indices because tech stocks were benefited substantially from the coronavirus uh, or, or the crisis from the coronavirus. Um, at this point, we are also expecting a, a, a little bit of pullback, probably towards the 20 exponential, around 11,700. Uh, when that is going to occur, or if that is going to occur, it's uh, it probably be fairly choppy trading and 
and not a lot of movement compared to that Dow Jones and the S&P and S&P because they are so overbought. This is not overbought. This is a 66, but stochastic is turning around. Uh, CCI is flat and the MACD is flat. And a move towards the um, 11,700 area would, would make sense. It would make uh, give us more momentum to the upside and then we'll basically target at these very highs of 12,485. So if you look at Apple, Apple hasn't done anything at all. We are stuck in this range at 119. And um, a breakdown from here, we'll find uh, support at the 50 moving average. A break up, we'll find resistance here at 125. And at this point, these technical indicators are just technically flat at this point. So there is not a lot of movement. If we break all the way down to the 100, then that, of course, is a buying opportunity. So if you look at uh, Netflix, Netflix fell today, found resistance at the 40 exponential moving average at uh, 272. Um, at this point, we'll probably go lower, all the way down to the 50 moving average at, uh, at 268 uh, before we turn around. If we break below that, then the 100 moving average is down here will be significant uh, support. So uh, Microsoft also fell today, found uh, support at the 20 exponential moving average. If we fall further, then we have the 150. If that breaks, then we'll go all the way down to the 150. That is most likely what is going to happen here because if you look at these technical indicators, they are all looking fairly bearish at this point. So uh, heads up, we could basically fall far, far lower in this market. People are not preferring tech stocks. They are preferring the high growth uh, stocks that have been left behind like the airlines industries and um, um, cruise liners and so on and so on. And also, of course, um, medicine industry is, it's, uh, uh, people are pumping money into that and not tech stocks at this point. So Google, we are stuck still in this range. We have a little bit of random candlestick here. We are significantly overbought in, uh, in this stock. So we are at 87. So a major pullback is expected. Uh, at least to the 20 exponential moving average is around here and that is also coincide with the, the highs here and that is around 1698 um, so a move towards that uh, exponential moving average is very likely because the we are significantly overbought and these indicators are all turning around and are turning negative amazon uh, quite a good day today. Um, they had a new. They have launched a new service with uh, which basically delivers medicine, and uh, of course that is a major, major industry for for Amazon. Basically, major industry in the United States, but Amazon will most likely be king in that industry as well, and that will um, greatly increase their uh, uh, revenue and profit, and that will cr- increase their value of their stock as well. So at this point, if we get a green, a green candlestick above the 50 moving average, then we go to these highs of 3,372 and then probably to these very highs. Technical indicators are turning around, so that is very likely. So Netflix pulled back quite significantly towards the 150 moving average. At this point, we'll, we, if we rally from here, we are, probably will target uh, around 499 area um we need to break the 50 moving average in order to go to these very highs but we have stayed in this area for a very long time um i don't think we will break down from further from here but uh, it's just a question how long we'll stay within this area um we are if we see the macd turning around and also the stochastic and the cci that is a sign that we are going to go higher but we need to break 500 here in order to go to these very highs so Hope you find this help helpful. You're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest uh, videos. And you're welcome to click the Patreon link down here in the uh, below this video, and you'll see our new package for our live trading and courses. And also, you get access to our signal service and our full technical analysis. So, good luck and thank you very much.